one of the best stories that you told me was a story about the Colomer Carp Festival. Well, the Colomer Carp Festival has a long and prominent history in South Whitley. And it came about because of three people and myself. Jim Arnold was one of the uh, instigators of it. Don LeBron Jr. was the second one, and Butch Lancaster was the third. And in those days, South Whitley had a fall festival called Sidewalk Days. And the merchants would put clothes hangers full of clothes and junk and stuff they wanted to get rid of out on the sidewalk and would advertise the sale of it. And it was rather pathetic if you want to describe it in any way. And we were regularly loafing at uh, Kenny Clapp's drive-in every evening. And we decided that the Colomer Car Festival, or the, I'm sorry, we decided that the South Whitley Sidewalk Days needed competition. And so I went into the newspaper and asked the fellows in there if they would let us run an ad, which we did. It, it was coming. Colomer's 43rd Annual Carp Festival. Please see Jim Arnold for details. Now, to those of you who knew Jim, he was rather shy. And I thought it was better to have people contact Jim than to expect Jim to contact people. So, I just put this in, and of course, everyone drove by the Arnold gas station and stopped in and asked Jim about the Carp Festival. So that started. The following week, another ad appeared saying that applications were being taken for the carp bake at the 43rd Annual Carp Festival. Now, I had nothing to do with that second ad. And to this day, I've never been able to establish precisely who put it in there. But I suspect LeBron. In any event, the following week had another ad that said applicants were being screened for the beauty contest for the Carp Festival. And there was another, oh, I, I, I recall that, that the people that were attending that, that wanted to apply for the beauty contest should call a specific telephone number. And the number we gave belonged to the Rink family, who were musician friends of my dad's. And they played with the San Antonio Symphony in the summertime, so they were not in South Whitley. And of course, this was before the days we had all the uh, telephone gadgets that we have now. So that phone would ring and ring and ring, and there was no way that anyone could reach him. So finally, after three weeks of this, LeBron, with the assistance of the editors of the newspaper, wrote a three-quarter page article on how the weekend before, 1,500 people had attended the Colomer Car Festival. And one problem that the, car, that the sidewalk days had was they wanted a parade. And for some reason or other, the band was not available. So they had to have a parade without a band. So when LeBron wrote up this article, he had the Colomer Carp Festival parade led by the State Highway Department. And he described every vehicle, and including the dump trucks and all of the stuff <laughs> and all the equipment they had on them. Well, the town went wild. I mean, after all, here was the biggest event that had hit South Whitley in years, and they'd all missed it. <laughs> So, so we, we kept it going. And uh, then, in those days, my family had two 
brick gate posts out here on the end of the lane and we went away for the weekend and it was claimed that those that those posts were extended upward with wooden structures and a sign shady rest nudist camp was put across the the uh, across the, the entrance well in those days we had two barbers in the barber shop and I was in there having a haircut and this guy in the chair next to me said hey what's this shady rest nudist camp and I said oh it's just a joke I said it's just like the carp festival he said yeah that's another thing I've been living in Colomer for over 50 years and I don't remember no 43 carp festivals <laughs> So that was one of the big events of my career in South Whitley.